Wales who had most of the running in the first half. Morgan has just been exceptional again. The young Wales captain. Flat. For Dyer, oh, he's electric, he's dangerous, he's through the tackle. Rio Dyer looking to swoop away, accelerate away, just stopped by Sanchez. Ball still alive, Reece Seven for the corner. Oh, what cover defence it was coming across. Well, the grounding, so he's definitely grounded the ball before he's wanting to touch, but I don't know whether he's grounded on the line or short. Okay, so on the field, no try. Okay, so, Marius. We're on field, no try. We believe that is potentially in touch. All right, we, you're on no try at the moment, yep. so we'll have any look for you. Oh, what an effort. What an effort. Rio Dyer found a little bit of space there. He is like a little eel, so slippery, so hard to get your hands on. Through he went. Louis Rees-Samet with the, the hallelujah dive, you might say, but... Looked like he never had a shout, never had a chance, but somehow he's got awfully close. Has he got close enough? No is the answer. I have a decision for you. Yeah. The ball was lost into touch by Red. Okay, so Matthias no Maroney it was. Correct. A 32-year-old coming across to stop the super talent Lewis Rees-Samet. Nick Tompkins cleared of the head injury assessment. He's going to head to the side. It's Dan Bigger who has battled on manfully too. So Costello will run the ship at 10. Oh, right behind their own goal line here. Crema does well. Argentina, the threat not over at all. Okay, use it now, please. Barsam Velez will be the one to send it away. High, it's a really good kick in awkward position. Dyer underneath it is manhandled by Buffelli over the side. Play on is the call. Just kept it in some way, somehow. Rio Dyer. And now Wales look to set again through Wainwright. Little short ball tipped on to Lewis. The young guns of Wales in a big moment now, but that's been stolen away, pinched like a thief in the night, Eduardo Bejo. Sanchez just tries to relieve some of the pressure, but Wales are going to have to keep running it back at them now. Oh, good work. And there's Morgan with his excellent footwork, tipped on by it. Tomaszewski wasn't ready for it. Yeah, we've got just a knock-on at the moment. We've got a knock-on against him first. Key moments, what a steal it was. Boy, he is electric. Rio Dyer pace. Vision as well, look at this, and Louis, Louis Rees Samich is having a go at the corner here, coming up centimetres short, so close to taking his team back into the lead. Semi-final, six inches away, really. Marseille in all its splendour has certainly delivered, hasn't it? What a game we've seen so far. The, the first of the quarterfinals and three more to come still. Oh, it's going to be a Wales scrum feed here. It's come off Argentina into touch.
the subs, the ones who've been out there and back on the side, they aren't on the chance. It's all about Crouch. discipline now in the last four minutes, isn't it? It's about not giving away penalties. You don't give away penalties, you don't give away field position, you don't give away scoring Five. opportunities. Set! Hold! Scrum goes down, Wainwright clears. Oh, pinch stolen! And it's a clear run to the line for the veteran Nicolas Sanchez to perhaps see a semi final for Argentina! What a read. Said it earlier, Thomas Williams, who just understood where the space was. Nicolas Sanchez understood where the ball was going, snapped it out the air. Wales came with the complicated attack, read it beautifully, had the speed to get there, looked like he might get caught from behind, had runners with him. Oh, what a moment. Look at that for a little read, summed it up perfectly. In he goes. And there goes the game, you can only believe. Out of Welsh hands, straight into the Argentinian hands and into the semi-finals, more than likely, go the men from South America. They've built and they've built through the World Cup after a poor start. When it's really counted this evening, they have made it happen. <laughs> 26 points to 17 now. The legend of Argentina rugby, Nicolas Sanchez, has just added another chapter to his storied career. Oh, this is good though from Wales off the restart. No room for Dyer. It was worth the effort. Clever kick, well taken. Just well read again by the Argentinian. Oh, he sums it up. Not liking the noise, we're not liking the result right now. Ninety seconds now for Argentina to close this out. Wales will throw everything, but this is great momentum, excellent control, and still they go forward. Bassan Velez for Buffelli to chase. Dyer underneath it. Well taken by Rio Dyer, but Argentina come pouring in. Time ticking away well and truly now against Wales. And penalty, Argentina! Ten points to nil, they were down Argentina. They have shown some real resilience, some real nous in terms of getting their way back into this into this game, finding a way. We know that they're a good side. We know they're capable of knocking over the best, and they have come to the fore tonight. Gus Creevy this time with a steal. It's the two old cappers, the old, the old hands, the, the hundred machines who are just doing it for them at the moment, taking them home taking them into the semi-finals of Rugby World Cup 2023. They were well and truly down after being well and truly beaten in their opening match. And they've built and built and found their feet. Sanchez with the final say. And Argentina, the class of 2023, follows the history makers of 2015. Their own slice of history. Argentina 29, Wales 
17.